Yes, 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 guys. Welcome to Parasim Tour of Duty. This operation will be called Operation Altis. Right. In these series of videos, I will be using Armor 3, uh, Milsim, also the Dynamic Universal War System, right, Dynamic Campaign, to recreate what my life was like um, being operation in the, the British Airborne Forces, serving as a paratrooper. Right, my 10 years career was spent on a unit with roughly about 150 men. Okay, uh, with the number being on the lower end, uh, we mainly conduct like um, spe specific tasks. Now, I've been playing Armour 3 for just over a year. Um, so I can say Armour is probably the perfect sandbox to recreate what my time was like um, on operation. Right, as stated, um, my unit, we operate on the low end um, in terms of manning, right? Now, what does that mean? It means that most, uh, yeah, the majority of the guys, we all had to be qualified in multiple roles, right? So throughout my gameplay, I will try and re-roll into these different roles based on mission task. Hopefully that will give you guys an idea as to what um, what is really like deploying in these roles, right? So again, guys, like I said, my main aim really is to provide a more realistic simulation of the battlefield in the real world, okay? Which includes uh, in-depth mission planning, uh, mission prep, and execution as well, okay? So it, this might not be suited to many people, Again, like I said, guys, it's just giving you giving you like an idea as to what it's really like on the battlefield where you can actually see a lot more um, detailed stuff, right? So, a little bit of a background, right? So, I was a commander, right? So, yes, so I was a battlefield commander. Um, I was qualified in pretty much all weapon systems. Um, I was a sniper, a machine gunner, uh, mortarman, um and i've worked with jtacs right but i wasn't a jtac but i've worked with them work with air crew so i do know um how that sort of world really work okay so here you go guys i'm now gonna hit start okay and get cracking okay, let's do this Right, so here we are guys. Okay, so I've already got the base um, set up, right? Manpower and all that sort of stuff. So what I've done, I tried to get the base set up based on um, mainly procedures, right? So the stuff that we would have in place out in operation, I sort of like try to, try to recreate those um, equipment procedures, those sort of things, right? Just to give you guys an idea of what it's really like out on the, out on operation. So let's give you a quick rundown of what we got in front. Okay, so on the map now, you'll see base defense one, two, three, four, right? Out on operation guys, we normally have, um, we had something called a phallic gun, right? Right, okay, contact. Right, contact, we've got guys on sentry, these guys on sentry, we'll sort it out, so we'll just crack on, keep talking. Right, so we had uh, phallic guns. So the base used to get attacked all the time. Main base used to get all the time, attack all the time, including the fobs and, so some people say fobs, some people say PB, right, patrol base. Now, we normally use PB, the term PB, right, is what we normally use. I don't think I've really heard people say FOB uh, in my time. I've definitely PB, patrol base, right? Now, what we used to have is radars dotted around the base, right? With um, a gun called a phallic gun, 
right? And those guns used to fire like a thousand rounds a minute. And the idea is when we used to get rockets, right, IDF attack on main base, the radar will detect the rocket in flight, right? And these guns will basically try and shoot it out of the sky. Okay, so what I've done, I basically put these positions in to try and simulate what that would have been like. Okay, also we had defensive positions um, like tower defense position. We had checkpoints um, for entry and exit points, right? Um, and it was those checkpoints and stuff used to be manned by um, mainly uh, NATO um, forces, right? Used to man those areas. Obviously, when you had a when we were on like a PB, right, or a FOB, um, that used to be manned by us, right? The actual unit used to man that in some sort of rotation. Um, so yeah, so that that's what we got on this one. Base one, base two, base three, and base four, guys. Okay. Also, let's go straight into the patrol um, team. So we had um, a patrol team, right? Would be a lot more than this. Okay. So the convoy sometimes used to be like, I don't know, full vehicle convoy, right? With, um, let's say, let's take it back in time. So uh, Wimmick. Right, which is basically a fire base, a, a fire support platform, right? And that's, you normally find like the HMG, GMG at the rear, um, so grenade machine gun. And then in between that, you used to have all the troop, troop carrier, right? So that's what normally happened. Obviously in this situation now, we've condensed it down to a section, right? In the armor at the minute, a section based on use, looking at this page now, Right, is 10. Real world section is 8, fire team of 4. Right, but for armor, virtual world, we'll go section 10, fire team of 5. Right, so we'll go first 5 being Charlie, attack pair, and second 5, so 6 to 10, right, will be Delta, right, heavy, the heavy group, right, that's what we normally call it. So assault group and heavy group is what it used to be known as. Right, fast forward to modern time, right? These vehicles did change on operation to like jackals um, and those sorts of stuff, right? So, and I think we also had uh, the Panther as well. And that was an American based vehicle that we sort of like um, convert to, converted to do what we wanted to do. And that was remote. Um, RWS, right? So remote weapon system on top. Okay, so no one with the head out the vehicle on in that one. Right. So what I've got is we've got an ops room, right? HQ and this is where all the planning will actually be. That's where we're at now. Ops room. Right. QRF, right? These are three wheeled um tanks. Okay, three man crew. So at the minute we've got a team red. Team red will be myself plus two. Right, let's not use the names. Right, let's use a number because what if these guys get killed, the number will remain the same, the name will change. Too too much confusion to try and remember the names. Okay, so we just say two. Right? So when we actually go on a foot call sign like dismount, it will be myself plus two team red, right? And six and seven team green, right? So we will um dismount in a four man team. Okay, everyone else will remain the vehicle, right, and act as um, support. Should we need QRF, right, we can call on these guys as well. Okay, so a quick reaction force if people don't know what that stands for. Okay, so we also had something called C CSS, right, which is Combat Service Support. So if we were to actually, like, have any issues, vehicle issues out on the ground, whatever issue we might have on the ground, right, we'll try and self-aid first. If not, right, we then had CCS CSS sorry right that was sort out okay we also had again attack we did a lot of um heli ops so helicopter vehicle checkpoint we get dropped off picked up by heli right sometimes we get dropped off by vehicles picked up by heli right so I've got that here as well right these helis um British Area forces clear. used to be um the Apache 
right and these ones used to be the merlin right um so they're like we call them battle battle helis right so these are your battle helis so guns on these bad boys here right over this side we got logistics so should we require to do any logistical stuff right we got logistics and that this is a chinook in real world though it's called an armor right it's called that in armor but yeah chinook um over this side we've got some guys on standby so if we're going on a deep op right we can then have these guys we can deploy these guys out to secure the routes ahead so we can like drive through okay we also got reserve team red and team green so two two three four five they're all team red right but i don't want to call them team red because when i give the command for team red i really just want this guy to move but then the vehicle would move as well but i don't want the vehicle to move okay does that make sense so if we for example lost all these guys here right these guys will deploy right so if we lost all these guys these guys will deploy and whoever that number is so that man will be um team red right so like the front two be team red and the second two be team green okay i've got to be alive for the mission to go ahead okay so i will tag along so this is a five man and a four man i will jump in on this one to be, to make it a five man five man um fire team right guys so that's that okay obviously you just heard the the base being um been, been attacked right so what we really need to do or what would have happened in real life okay i'll go through that in the next video all right guys all right cool i'm out